What's up guys? I'm Josh and I lift things. I'm here to talk about every single lifting term you've ever heard of. This video is going to be a speed run of me explaining most, if not all, training, diet, and supplementation acronyms or terms you've ever seen. If this isn't enough for you, I plan on having standalone videos for every single one of these concepts, so make sure you subscribe to see those when they come out. Anyways, let's get into it. Superset. Performing one exercise immediately after a different exercise with minimal rest in between. Giant set. Performing three exercises back to back. Imagine adding one more set to a superset. Drop set. Repeat an exercise with less weight immediately after finishing a set. Rest pause set. Perform an exercise to failure, take a short break, and then repeat with the same weight, often for less reps. AMRAP, as many reps as possible. EMOM, every minute on the minute. Repeat a set or rep every single minute. LISS, low intensity, steady state. A form of cardio where you use a low, constant intensity for a long period. HIIT, high intensity interval training. A form of cardio where you use a high intensity for short bursts of time. Compound movement, a movement that utilizes multiple joints or muscles. Isolation movement, a movement that utilizes a single joint or a single muscle. Concentric, the shortening of a muscle or typically the positive or up of most movements. Eccentric, the lengthening of a muscle, the negative or the down of most movements. Isometric, the length of the muscle stays the same, but tension is there, like the top end of most lifts. ROM, range of motion, how far a weight moves during an exercise. Psycho, Calories in versus calories out. How you lose or gain weight. E D E O D E 3 D. Every day, every other day, every third day. How often you do something. P O. Progressive overload. Doing more than what you did last time. Periodization. How you plan out an exercise routine. L P. Linear progression or linear periodization. A form of progression where you add weight every single session. DOMS. Delayed onset muscle soreness. Feeling sore after a workout. A T G. Ass to grass or the full range of motion of a squat. B M I body mass index, a formula that takes your weight and your height to categorize you by a certain weight class. BMR, basal metabolic rate, how many calories you burn just existing. EAT, exercise activity thermogenesis, how many calories you burn from exercise. NEAT, non-exercise activity thermogenesis, how many calories you burn from tying your shoe, taking a shit, and everything else. TEF, the thermal effect of food, how many calories you burn digesting your food. TDEE, -E, total daily energy expenditure, your BMR, EAT, NEAT, and TEF all combined, or your maintenance calories. CNS, central nervous system, the thing that connects your brain and your muscles. DYEL, do you even lift? Something you say to be an asshole. EPOC, excess post-exercise oxygen consumption, the amount of calories you burn after exercise as an afterburn effect. GPP, general physical preparedness, training that isn't related to your current goal, but rather impacts total general fitness. HIT, high intensity training, not HIIT, but Mike Menser's form of training involving short and powerful lifting days. Hypertrophy, muscle growth. HST, hypertrophic specific training, a form of training meant to maximize hypertrophy. LATT, lactic acid threshold training, training to increase the amount of work you can do before lactic acid builds up. HR and MHR, heart rate and maximal heart rate. How many times your heart beats, typically in beats per minute. MMC, mind muscle connection. How much you feel a muscle working during a movement. PR and PB, personal record and personal best, hitting a new max. RPE, rate of perceived exertion. How hard a set was on a scale from one to 10. RIR, reps in reserve. How many reps you had left after a set, typically the inverse of RPE. SPP, specific physical preparedness, a more specific form of GPP. TUT, Time under tension. How long you kept a muscle under load. Intensity. The percent you lifted in comparison to your one rep max. Volume. The amount of work you do in a given time frame, often denoted in sets per week, reps per day, or sets times reps times weight. Frequency. How often you train that muscle group. Rest periods. The amount of time you rest in between sets. Tempo. How long each rep took, often denoted as XXXX with each variable representing a different portion of the lift. BCAAs, branched chain amino acids, valine, leucine, and isoleucine. EAAs, the essential amino acids, the 9 out of 20 amino acids that your body cannot synthesize by itself, which includes the BCAAs. The EFAs, the essential fatty acids, your omega-3s and your omega-6s. IIFYM, if it fits your macros, a style of dieting that says you can eat whatever you want as long as it fits your protein, carbs, and fat requirements. Macros, macronutrients, protein, carbs, and fats. Micros, micronutrients, vitamins and minerals. IF, Intermittent fasting, a style of dieting where you do fast throughout the day and then have a small eating window. PEDs, performance enhancing drugs, steroids, and all the rest. PWO, pre or post workout, either a supplement, a meal, or some type of plan that you have. Intra workout, something you take during your training. Peri workout, 
pre, intra, and post workout. Micro, meso, and macro cycle. Training blocks split between a short, a medium, and a long time frame. Training variables. What you alter for progressive overload. Intensity, volume, frequency. UP, DUP, WUP. Undulating progression either daily or weekly, a form of periodization where you modulate the training variables on a daily or a weekly basis. BP, block periodization, setting your routine up in specific blocks of different micro, meso, and macro cycles. CP, not what you're thinking. Conjugate periodization, a style of training similar to DUP that typically involves max effort days and max dynamic days. WAD, workout of the day, typically used in CrossFit style training where the work done is different every single day. OLLI, Olympic weightlifting, and training for the clean and jerk and the snatch. PL, Powerlifting, training for the squat, bench, and deadlift. BB, bodybuilding, training for the most aesthetic build. RM, rep max. For instance, one RM is your one rep max. Doubles and triples, a set of two or a set of three. Reps are repetitions. One movement, for instance, doing a single push-up. Sets, a grouping of reps. For instance, doing five push-ups with no rest between. Deload, a period of time where you do less work in order to recover. Overtraining, train too much and haven't recovered enough and have caused systemic fatigue. Circuit training, giant sets to an extreme, tons of different movements after each other. UL split, Upper lower split. Some days are upper body focused, some are lower. Full body split. Every single day you train your entire body. PPL. Push pull legs. One day is for pushing movements, one day is for pulling, and one day is for legs. Body part split. Also called a bro split, where each muscle group gets its own day. You have a chest day, an arm day, whatever. Well, that was a lot, wasn't it? I'm sure I missed some terms you may have heard about or some less known acronyms, but I think I got most of the big ones. And guys, that's the video. Really quick one, really random, but should cover virtually any question you have about some term you have if you're a beginner. If I forgot some, feel free to leave me a comment, let me know. It also really helps out the channel. You can like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications every time I post a new one. If you like this style of content, you can follow all these socials and join the Discord. The links are in the description. I post exercise content twice a day every single day make sure you share this to a buddy who's just starting maybe it'll save them from asking you a couple questions and as always thank you so much for watching and have a great day